for joining us tonight as we continue to follow a developing story out of Syracuse University. Chancellor Kent Severut releasing another video this evening after DPS identified the individuals believed to be involved in last night's report of a racist verbal attack against a female African American student. The chief of the university's Department of Public Safety, Bobby Maldonado, also relaying a message that a donor has provided up to $50,000 in rewards for information leading to an arrest related to the racist. DPS officer hours have also been extended from 10 to 16 hour shifts and two new shuttle buses have been added to the campus route. SU has now suspended all fraternity social activities until the end of the calendar year. News Channel 9's Adrian Smith caught up with students on the SU Hill, sharing their thoughts on the issue. So they just need to do something, anything that shows that they actually care. After at least six racially biased incidents at Syracuse University beginning November 7th, the school taking steps to move forward. Around 6 a.m. Sunday morning, a statement sent to all students, faculty, and staff from Chancellor Kent Severud, suspending all fraternity social activities for the rest of the semester. This comes after the Department of Public Safety linking several members of a campus fraternity to at least one of the racist incidents. I honestly just kind of think it's a band-aid to the issue. Um, I think it might prevent certain things because they can't get together um, and that, that might prevent things from happening, but it doesn't really address the underlying issues that are plaguing the campus right now of people just not respecting each other. And I think he was trying to move in the right direction, but like ultimately like it won't work out in my opinion. Severut says while only one fraternity may have been involved, he believes all fraternities need to reflect on this behavior. And many students still protesting for stronger action. I know like the students who are part of the uh, protest in the Barnes Center created a short list of demands and like a long list of demands. So I think if those were to be done first, then we'd probably see more change on campus. I just hope that the campus actually or that the like, chancellor and the administration actually listens to the, the demands of the students because um, it seems at times that the administration is really disconnected from what the students really like believe and what we really need. Students are continuing to protest in the Barnes Center. They say they'll give Chancellor Severud until Wednesday to take formal action. Meanwhile, the Department of Public Safety is continuing to investigate the other incidents, including the anti-Asian and anti-African American graffiti found in several residence halls. Nicole? Adrian, thank you, and make sure you stick with the morning news and localsyr.com as we continue to follow these developments. And if you know any information, you're asked to contact Syracuse Police, who's helping with this investigation. That number is 315-442-5222. And the Syracuse NAACP was on campus tonight speaking to student protesters, bringing them food and water as well. The president of the local chapter, Linda Brown Robinson, telling News Channel 9 outside the student sit-in that they have the students' backs, and as long as both the students and the university are following the law, they'll support them, and they're hopeful to come to an amicable solution. She also has a message for those behind these racial incidents. In what age and what day and what time do you think this is acceptable to call people names? And if you really felt that wet way, you'd come out underneath the mask and show yourself. Don't be a coward about this, because that's what they are. They're cowards. The president of the chapter also saying they've invited students to sit in on NAACP meetings and even join the committee.